welcome to the ai prompt engineer today i am going to show you how you can install a chat gpt4 as an extension in your vs code editor and use it in your daily work so let's go to the vs code editor and go to the extension part and you can see in search bar whenever we type chat gpt we can get lots of options but uh, i am showing you the particular one which i am going to use so you can see this my cursor here there is a chat gpt made by easy code ai so yeah i use it because here the just click on it and just install it i already installed it i am using it because there is no api keys required here so that's why i am using it just for an uh, to make it our work more easy so yeah just install it and then you can see here in the left corner bottom to the extension icon here we are getting the logo icon of this chat gpt4 extension so just click on this and then you will see a complete uh, search bars uh, and some basic as you see here these are some basic functionalities so mm, here uh, some descriptions are there which you, you can read and uh, know that uh, what are the options available how we can use it so yeah just there are two options ask internet where we can ask just general uh, queries like on we ask on internet and the second one is specialized for some more complex coding related stuff so yeah these two options are there uh, you can select it from the above uh, uh, search option so we there are two options so yeah this must read it just to get an overall idea about how to use it and most important thing is right now as you see this there the icon here we can see two options gpt3 gpt4 and all and also this is a uh, right now this is a free version but uh, and we are getting uh, 5 lakh tokens uh, which is enough just for testing and, and all and then we have to do upgrade if we want more so yeah uh, till now just see just type anything so i am just uh, today i am showing just a basic functionality that how quickly we are getting a code using gpt4 in and using this extension so just in search bar type build a stopwatch using gui from Py using python so let's see within a second we are getting a code which is much much faster as compared to the normal chat gpt as you can see how quickly we get a whole code here and also i uh, test and i analyze the that the accuracy of code is also much higher and the possibilities of getting error is also very less so you can see within a second uh, earlier we make videos on uh, how to build an app within a minute and but here you can see using gpt4 extension we are building and whole uh, app within a second so just copy the code and let's test it in the go to this uh, right side app.py editor place and just paste it save it and run it let's see we are getting the working stopwatch or not this is just a basic example but uh, sure we you can use it for more complex things as well you can see as you see the capabilities how quickly and efficiently we are getting the codes here and yeah you can see there so right after right clicking we are we are getting so many options so i will make few more detailed video related to this like how we can fix our, our bugs and use some other functionalities here so but uh, in this i am just showing the basic uh, steps how to install an uh, extension and use it and just copy the code save it and run it in python terminal and let's see right now we are getting a stopwatch or not so yeah you can see without any error uh, within a second we generated a code and then run it and we are getting a stopwatch with all this basic start stop and reset button as well so yeah this is just a basic simple demo after installing this extension uh, and uh, right now this is uh, like uh, we are getting five like tokens free which is enough like uh, uh, very enough uh, to explore this whole gpt4 stuff i use in this vs code editor so must try it and as i showed you there are a few other options like how we can debug our, our code and uh, functionalities how we interact our code or interact our things with in gpt4 so i will make some few more detailed video r related to th those as well so yeah just stay tuned and follow the channel for more upcoming tutorials related to this extension and few more updated ai videos and stuff so yeah thank you and have a nice day